wrapping it all up, the epilogue of what's right, not who's right. Hopefully you've been on this journey with me and hopefully you've gotten a few things out of it. One of the things I want to remind ourselves about this is people that focus on what's right, not who's right, they don't think less of themselves. They just don't think as much about themselves. You know, if we were really able to hear other people's conversation, they're not really thinking much about us anyway. They tend to be really self-absorbed in what they're looking at. Maybe we could turn that around a little bit and not spend so much time worrying about what others think. Also, one more tip that might be helpful. How much of your self-talk is self-defeating? In other words, you stop yourself before you start, you worry too much, and you're censoring the great ideas that are going through your head. I'd like to encourage you to talk to yourself from a little bit different perspective. Finally, I have a belief in the vast goodness of people. Often what happens when something comes out of someone's mouth that might be mean or snarky is it's some form of unprocessed suffering. They have something going on. So the last thing I want to leave you with when we talk about what's right and not who's right is be kind. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and remember, we all have something that's going on inside of ourselves. Try it. What's right, not who's right. It's a simple shift to be able to heal ourselves, heal our relationships, and maybe heal the world. Thank you.